Hi everyone, hope you're well. Today we're gonna to get straight into the video. We're back at our favorite beach, Bon Success, as you know, and we're gonna do spot landing practice. Wind is about medium to medium strong. Uh, these hills are very small, so we need quite a bit of wind to, to to fly them, which means coming into land under strong wind has very specific tricks and patterns. Before we get into the video, the reason why we haven't been posting recently is we've been hard at work with our ground handling course, part two, the Pilot Pro, that a lot of you have been asking about. Later in the video, we'll announce the giveaway winners from the last video. And you can always check out the ground handling course essential that's already out. So if you want some of the essentials of ground handling and what goes into it, check it out over here and here and down in the description. Right, let's get on to it. I love how you said we're going to get straight into the video and then proceeded to talk for five minutes. And this afterwards. is like one or two minutes in. Sorry, guys, I tried my best. I need to work on my summarizing skills. What are we doing, Jim? At you least got, it wasn't me. You got the lightweight harness. You got the geo. We've been trying another harness that will come in in a future video, but for now, how, how do you feel about this? Uh, I'm not very good at spot landing. I'm thinking that following on from the, what the practice that we did with the hovering, that might have given me like some new skills and some new uh, ways to like, if I can hover on the spot, well, surely I can well, pick a spot and hover on it. Well, here's the thing. Uh, you know, like uh, landing is an art in itself, and there's even accurate landing accuracy competitions. Yeah. And the one rule to keep people safe that I've always not noticed on those is no stalling or pre-stalling wings. Or flapping. So or flapping. So hovering uh -oh. is not allowed, and that's because usually you don't have this nice soft ground. It usually it's quite hard, and if you stall five meters, ten meters off the ground, you're gonna hurt yourself. So it's more so to do with timing exactly. my, my, uh, my glide your ratio. Your descent, exactly. It's managing glide ratio, is managing your path that you take in so you can't use your skills. Clearing cravats and dealing with collapses and all of that stuff is going to be on the next part of the course. So it's uh, it's quite interesting when you see it in action every day and how different people deal with it. All right, you get up there, get airborne, and then and then come and land on the pir on the pyramid, okay? Pyramid. Yeah. Oh. Right. So here we are in a bit of a plateau, as you've seen this site a million times. I'm going to get our little uh, pira pira pyramid. And if the place where you're trying to land is on a high plane like this, there will be uh, there'll be lift and stronger wind and all sorts of stuff. And I know on camera it doesn't do it justice. I mean, maybe like that you can see it's 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 fairly steep actually. So now we're down at the bottom flat part, and you can see you know it's it's way up there. So if we put this in this clear wind in here it's gonna work it's gonna be easier to start with so there we go that's our spot and she's off to be honest at this stage she's pretty much high enough to come straight here but she might uh, she might get some height to make it a little bit more realistic Quite high now. You can see from the shadow, she's uh, overflying us a little bit. Let's see what our approach is. She's going off to the. She's going off to that side to lose some height. Because it's quite windy. Um, it's quite easy that if, if you're too high, if you're coming from straight behind it and you're too high, to go to the side to lose height. Yeah, 
Way too high still. But she's doing some S's. She's nice, maybe a bit too close. But, you know, first time. Trying to keep the commentary alive here. Very good. I mean, it's kind of working, but I still think she's gonna overfly it. These wings have a lot of glide at the end, so. Okay, I'm just gonna try to measure. Okay, hold on, hold on. Stay there. So, not, nowhere near it, not I? quite. Yeah, a bit, <laughs> a bit too high. I'm gonna, I'm gonna measure it. You're gonna measure. That's your feet are where I landed. Yeah, I'm gonna walk towards it. How did it feel? Uh, it's nice and strong. It's nice and lifted today, but that's uh, not what I want. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was trying to do like a bit of a. I mean, I would have come in and just done a little. I know, but you can't do it, right? <laughs> but no, because of what you told me. The S's were good, you were just too close. Yeah. But other than that, and you also, you don't need to do S's in front of the thing like this. If you're the target, I, I'm you. You can just like go to one side and come back. No, come to go to the same side and come back. You don't need to like do that. Yeah. But anyway. I think as well, because I'm not used to wanting to get up and high. I went straight over to there. <laughs> Why did I go and get high? I, I should have say, just got up and like I was come gonna straight say, down. You don't, you don't need to go to the top step either. I know, I'm either. not you going, just, I'm not, I'll, yeah. next time I'm not going to go high. I think it's getting stronger as well, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, we'll try again. Okay. Okay, just measuring for the thing. One, two, three, four, five, eleven, seven and a half, three dozen. 36 meters. Okay. Slightly different tactic, she's staying back a bit more. I reckon she almost has to be at the height of the hill, so the bum almost touching the sand to be able to glide to here and not overfly it. I think it's gonna be very similar. And you shouldn't really be doing big wing, big uh, thingy changes close to the ground, because now it might Okay, well, that's a lot better. That's like five meters. Better? You know, you know, I said that I've always been really bad at knowing how far I am from the ground. Well, this is what you've needed then. Yeah. Well, sometimes I think that I'm really, uh, really close and think, oh, if I don't go in now, no, it I'm going to land thing. straight straight down and then you glide forever. This so. is a geo, man. Yeah, okay. Maybe this I glides need... forever. I was, I was saying to the viewers, <laughs> from our perspective, your bum almost has to be touching that hill to then glide from there to here. Because if you think about it, if you were taking off from there, run, 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 you could get here, right? Maybe that's what I should do. And uh, also, just for safety-wise, because again, here it's very safe, but if you were landing in a valley, like flying from a mountain and stuff, which is usually where these competitions These little were. zigzags I'm doing close so, to the so ground. So close to the yeah. ground, yeah, you, you can't... Here she comes. Can she make it? She's adjusting her glide with the brakes. Come on! Ballooned a bit too much, but <laughs> oh, I didn't even look at you or the camera. I thought I was just gonna get smashed in the face with a dirty foot. <laughs> so you can kind of get here, not quite, but you can. Yeah. What, you, you, balloon, you ballooned a bit at the end, didn't you? Yeah, I realised I was pulling a lot of brake and I thought I was going up, so I just thought, I'll just release a little bit, a little, send me down a bit and then I can catch it again, which is what I did, but maybe that was too much. So? Okay. It was all right. I think you were very close to it. You might be like... So from that level, you can get here? Yeah. <laughs> Way too high. Way too high. She should have continued. A lot of bank close to the ground. This is not good. Um. <laughs> Still. As you as you took off, you found a bit of lift, and you immediately turned right to extend your leg. And but, then turn back. But then back, you turned back rather than ca carrying on with it. This isn't going to be as easy as I thought. I thought, oh, second or third time, I'll crack it. No. Oh, missed it. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Do, 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 do. Nice. 
looks more promising, so she's straight lining it because a little bit of red. Uh, oh, no! I was gonna say this one looked real promising, Gem. It looked real promising, I got lift! But that was good though, that was real good. I'm so close. <laughs> I don't want to do the classic like blaming the conditions but have you seen how I'm getting lift in odd places? Yeah a little bit. <laughs> There's like just when I think I'm coming down and goes and takes me up again and I'm like and then uh, maybe I'm overcompensating as well because I'm eager to get down so yeah I it's think it's good I, practice. I, I think I think you need to spend maybe twice as long in the air and just really take your time yeah uh, to come down maybe even go a little bit higher maybe not all the way but so that I can get a beat in you so you have more time to think and tweak your approach it's weird but it is a, a bit about landing the landing approach as well because you yeah. need to be in the right position for the wind and in not have a tailwind <laughs> I see what you mean, there's some weird bubbles around, aren't they? Yeah! Maybe I just need to do what I did in the first instance and go that way to come back this way because I'm going along that way with not enough height and then having to turn around and then come in at, the, at a weird angle and nearly skimming my butt on, on these little things. So, well done. Well, finally, it took long enough. <laughs> uh, I got close on a couple of occasions and then kind of needed to do a bit of a naughty stall to get my foot in. And a lot of bank, right? This time was straight on. So as it turns out, one time lucky. It's a one time lucky thing for me. I need a lot more practice. Um, it's still really good. It's a really good exercise to do if you've got the right conditions and the right place to try it. And I suppose you could even do this from a hill and actually try spot landing each time. It'd just take a little bit more time in between goes, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, I think on competitions people get like three or six tries per day. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I think it'd be interesting to see how well you do before it gets too light. I'll try it out. Um, right, it's giveaway time. We want to start by thanking everybody who's nominated a friend for our ground handling essentials course giveaway. Uh, we are only picking three winners, so we're picking them out of a hat and um, it's the first time we've done anything like this, so hopefully we'll maybe be able to do something like this again in future, but... Uh, let's, get, let's go for it. Without further ado, I'll pick the first name. And it's random, obviously. Well, we're trying to make it as random as we can. I was going to put it back in, but then that's... You can't that's, put it back yeah, in. I'll, I'll give it a bit of, better shifty for the Oh, no, I, I've been shuffling this for a little while, and the first winner is... Okay, the first winner is Krista, and she was nominated by Kristoff. Kristoff, congratulations, um, Krista. Yeah, we'll have more detail about that later. 
One for me. I feel like I should waggle it for you, but go yeah. on. Okay, well, I'll put it back. I won't look. Okay. Okay, not looking. Where is it? It's here. Okay. And we have Debbie, nominated by Wes. Congratulations, Congratulations Debbie. Congratulations, Debbie. And the last one, close your eyes. All right, okay. Shake, 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 put your hands out. There. I looked. I didn't look in it, but I looked at what I'm doing. Right, okay, that's just one. And the last winner is... Eliska, uh, nominated by Charlie. Well, congratulations, Krista, Debbie, and Eliska. It sounds like it's all oh, girls. It's like all chicks. <laughs> I think it's all girls. Well, we'll keep hold of that and let's get in touch with them and give them the course. We contacted all three and were able to enroll them in the course and we asked them a little bit about themselves. Krista's been flying since 2009 but wants to work more on her reverse starts and handling. She and Christoph live and fly together in Switzerland, but say it's sometimes hard to get the right conditions for ground handling, which is one of the reasons why they love to travel. Wes says that although Debbie's in her 60s, she acts and plays like she's in her 30s. They are P3 paramotor pilots from Arizona in the US. Debbie has already started the course and says that she's learning lots. Eliska and Charlie learned to fly together around six years ago in the UK but say that they both struggle to find the time to fly regularly between work and finding the right conditions. Eliska is looking forward to building her confidence and skills with the course as an extra boost. Well done to all, we wish you all the best. We hope the course is useful and now back to the video. All right, let's go. Oh, I just got sand in my face. Oh, he's gone right to the top, taken straight off. I bet he goes left, his left. No, he's not. I'm wrong. Oh, no, I'm not wrong. Certainly high. not going to, is he? Is he going to do it first time? Oh, oh so close! <laughs> <laughs> it's hard. It's hard. There's, uh, like you said, there's You still did weird... better than I did the first time. There's some weird... Uh, Bubbles. Wind, sh wind shifts around, yeah. Yeah. Well, try again. Just, can you just say that again, just to make me feel better about myself? <laughs> what? What? Uh, yeah, I can definitely. Oh, yeah, I can definitely see what you mean. Where there's some weird wind shifts around, where you go through a pocket of lift, then you go through loads of side wind, and it's just yeah, some 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 zip. I need yeah. to uh, I need to do my careful approach rather than my uh, right, healer. Right here, there seems to be like a patch of lift where there is not normally lift. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's an interesting one. No. Oh. <laughs> Does that count? No, it doesn't count. I got caught up by the bubble by the bubble again. Did you? Yeah, it was like no wind, no wind, no wind, loads of tailwind. What the hell? I'm gonna I know you're glad. <laughs> you're gonna call uh, call bullshit on the conditions. Uh oh, I'm in the line. I was going, I'm going to uh, do an approach the other way. So I'm going to try to do all of my losing of height on that side. Yeah, I think that's the uh, that's the ticket. Is it wrong that I'm quite pleased that Andre's struggling as well and saying that there's bubbles? <laughs> I know that's awful, but um, yeah, I thought he'd do it straight away first time, but he's still doing a great job. This is where you sometimes get a bit of extra air that you're not expecting. Oh no! <laughs> I can't flap! 
Gemma, you're so happy. <laughs> I'm ecstatic. No, I'm not really. But I, it, it is um, interesting to see. Like, I'm the joker card, aren't I? So if I can't do it, they don't really prove anything. But if you can't do it, then it's, uh, it's usually an indicator what. of conditions. In all seriousness though, um, Andre's definitely got the upper hand because he's better at approaches than I am. Uh, I think I, even though I've got a lot more experience with ground handling now, I'm still quite an inexperienced flyer. Um, so I think I can, it'll be interesting to see the footage back, but I think I'm banking quite a lot when I shouldn't do and probably making some moves too close to the ground. So just as a disclaimer, don't do what Gemma does. <laughs> It's getting real high. See, it's there where there's a lot of lift. Weirdly, that's not normal for this site. Might have to do a bit of running with the camera here when it gets to going into the land time. Is he on it? He's on it! <laughs> yes! What was that? Third time lucky? <laughs> you got to do the uh, the triumphant, you know, the, the fi uh, palm over fist thing. What's that? <laughs> you know, like, put your fist up and then you hand over the top of it and then do that, shake it to one side. Oh! That's it. <laughs> I don't know how to oh, describe yeah. it. What's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, by the way, have you seen the massive change of events that's happening around us without us noticing? Oh. Um. They're dredging loads of sand. Well, it's been approved to dredge tons and tons of sand from the lagoon. You should have the drone up. Right, so that's it. Um, didn't get a lot of attempts, like successful attempts done, like one each. It takes time and I think it, it highlights why it's so important to practice because even if you spend all day practicing, you don't get that many landings in and you'll miss most of them. So you just need, well, we need to practice a lot more. We need to do this again. Definitely, yeah. And I was expecting like this video to be loads of like cool, pow, 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 like action shots and moving it around. Really, not the reality. Not the reality you at all. Get, you need to get good first, and I, yeah, and the conditions were a bit iffy, so I'll give you that. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> usually I can land pretty well, and today was a disaster, really. We also got interrupted by a large pipe being dragged onto the beach, but uh, yeah, that was odd. But well, time to go home anyway. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks again for all the ones that participated to, on the giveaway and a big thumbs up to the winners. Well done, guys. Yeah, congratulations. Hope, hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't get the giveaway this time, there will be others. But in the meantime, there's links in the description and on the corners if you want to go and check out our Grand Handling Essentials course, which is great for when there's strong wind and you want to control your wing. Anyway. As always, we'd like to thank all these lovely people on Patreon who support the channel. These guys um, and girls and girls yeah and on youtube memberships as well we can't forget them um don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you next time bye bye bye